cut a one and a half inch diameter hole for the outlet. Cut a two inch diameter hole for the overflow. Cut a four inch diameter hole for the inlet. Wrap a loop of duct tape on a yardstick. Then, attach the tank bung to the yardstick. Insert the yardstick through the inlet hole. Pop out the tank bung through the outlet hole of the rain barrel. Secure the tank bung with the tank bung washer. Twist until tightly secure. Screw the threaded nipple into the tank bung. Then, attach the threaded ball valve spigot. Then attach the brass hose adapter. You can then attach a hose to the spigot. Wrap the rubber washer on the threaded portion of the trap adapter. Place this through the overflow hole on the outside of the barrel. Reach through the inlet hole to secure the cap onto the trap adapter. Twist from the inside until secure. Place mesh screen over PVC reducer and stretch over entire opening. Slip hose clamp over and tighten until secure. Use a screwdriver if necessary. Insert the PVC reducer into the inlet hole of the rain barrel. For your barrels adjacent to your garden, attach the 90 degree PVC elbow to 5 feet to 10 feet of PVC piping. Insert into the trap adapter. If you'd like to divert water to a different portion of your yard, attach the bushing to a trap adapter. Then, screw the hose into the bushing. Always divert overflow water away from the foundation of your home. Use cinder blocks to increase hose pressure. Use screwdriver to detach downspout elbow. To determine where to cut the downspout, measure from the ground to seven inches above inlet filter. Cut the downspout with a hacksaw or jigsaw, then reinsert the downspout elbow and reattach the elbow to the downspout so it sits about one and a half inches from the inlet of the barrel. Make sure that the filter assembly is always in place to keep out mosquitoes and debris. Replace filter immediately if you notice a rip or tear. Use the mesh screen to replace the filter. To kill algae, 
Add about 3 fourths cup of bleach to full barrel. Wait at least 2 days to use the water. Make sure the overflow valve is draining in a non-erosive manner and away from the foundation of your home. 